Oh, there we are. Cock of him made. Oh. Fall apart chicken. Oh, look at that. Hi guys, how you all doing? Welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick today, Cocker Van. Chicken stew, a posh chicken stew. It's a stew with a whole bottle of red wine. We're going to cook it in the slow cooker. Let's show you how to do it. Come on. Okay, this is a very, very easy recipe. Flame on in the pan, a little bit of oil in there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go in with our bacon. So get that in there. So what we're doing, we're actually cooking up the bacon uh, and we're drawing out that bacon fat and that little bit of flavour from the bacon before we actually turn it brown. And that is going to give our flavour on our chicken. All we're trying to do is cook it off and we shove it in our slow cooker and obviously it's going to cook more. It'll probably completely disintegrate in the slow cooker. You won't even see the bacon. Flame off. Bacon out. In a tub. Put to one side. For our chicken then, I've got chicken thighs. They have got a bone in. And all we're going to do is sprinkle over some salt and pepper. Pepper up that. And then all we want to do then is dust over a little bit of flour on top of there. Okay, and now what's that going to do? It's going to trap in our salt and pepper on our chicken. And then when we fry it, it's going to have a crispy brownness on the outside. So we're not too bothered about dusting it up completely just like that, turn it over, salt and pepper, salt, a little bit of pepper, job done. Then all we're going to do is we're going to fry that. Same pan with that oil, heat it up, heat it up nice and gently and then in with our chicken flour side which would have been the skin side down okay what we're not trying to do we're not trying to cook this all the way through we want a bit of a crusty on top of that chicken that's all have a shifty underneath not quite crispy enough for me okay let's have a shifty that's okay flip over your chicken thighs and just put a little bit of colour on the bottom side. That will also cook the seasoning onto the bottom. But like I say, we're not trying to cook these guys in any way. You know, we're just trying to put a bit of colour on the top, a bit of colour on the bottom. Job done. All right, just push that to one side. And we just want to be going in there with our onions and our garlic. So just get that in there. Start it off in there. Now this is a quick cook guys. Out with those chicken thighs on a tray. Put to one side. Just take the rawness off this onion and garlic in here. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit more pepper. No salt, because there's salt in the stock, in the chicken stock. And then what we need to do we need to go in with about a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more actually, but about a tablespoon of our tomato puree. Just give that a little working in there. Now 
And then what we want to do to loosen this, we're going with just a little bit of red wine. Loosen it off. That's going to help loosen it off in there. That is lovely. What a wonderful smell. So hopefully those onions will take a little bit of that on there. What a wonderful smell. That's it guys, flame off. And then we need to start putting it in the slow cooker. Okay, nice and easy this. That's our onion mixture in there. In with our bacon. In with our chicken stock. Now it doesn't really matter what order you put this in guys, you know, it's just got to go in there. Just give that a little mix up so they're not all piled up on top of each other. In with some carrots. In with our potatoes. In with our mushrooms. Now, I don't use... Um, now I don't use small onions in here for this one. I put the small onions in my beef bourguignon, but not in the cooker van. You know, I rely on the onions and the garlic that we've chopped up and we've fried off there and put in here. Okay. In with our thyme. In with our bay leaves. Give that a little mix in. That's fantastic. In with our chicken thighs. Just get them in there. In with a little quarter cup of oyster sauce. In with our red wine. And I always go in with some butter. And that is it. Whew, it's most potent with that red wine. And that is it. Lid on and set that to cook for about six hours. Oh man. Now that is the smell to come home to. Let's have a look in here. Oh. There we go. Cocker van. With all slow cooker recipes guys, a lot of fluid comes off in there, we have to thicken it up. Now we'll thicken this up with a corn flour slurry. So we're doing an equal parts corn flour to water. So you can use one tablespoon of corn flour, one tablespoon of water, or two tablespoons, it's up to you. Depends how thick you want that sauce. So we'll give it a good stir around because it does sink to the bottom. Then all we're going to do is tip that in there. That's it guys. In it goes. A little stir in there like that. Oh man. Lid on. Cook for 10 minutes and it should be thickened. Oh, there we are, cock of him made. Oh, fall apart chicken. Oh, look at that. Get that chicken on there. Oh. Mmm. Oh, <laughs> that is amazing. Chicken's just falling off. Oh, mum. Now, if you like what we're doing, guys, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe. Share with your friends. All that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next video. Mmm. -hmm.